Hello, I am not Elias. I'm Darcy, the notorious one, and oh my god, it's Manga Tuesday, and it's a big one because it's not super big because it doesn't end in a five. It's an episode that ends in a zero. That's you know the second tier from ending in a five. Point is, it's a big episode. It's episode sixty, motherfuckers. <laughs> and today, I will be reviewing nothing. You will all sit there in silence as I serenade you for half an hour. Just kidding, it's a collection video because I know everyone loves a collection video and today is a big one in the make and it's could have done it. Um, could have done it ages ago, it's a big one, been playing for a long time, we're doing my BOOM! My Polyworld collection, see this is my epic Polyworld binder, this is where I keep all my Polyworld cards, but I don't just have Polyworld cards. For all of my blind fans out there, I'm pointing at my shirt because I'm wearing a Polyworld shirt. This is part of the Polyworld collection, it's a Polyworld shirt, I really like shirts, I have a lot of shirts. Manga Tuesday t-shirt collection video coming soon. Here I have this little sort of rubbery Polyworld toy that's pretty epic. I should probably tell you um, in case you didn't know or you couldn't tell by this video my favorite Pokemon is Poliwhirl. He's been my favorite Pokemon for a long time as long as I can remember since I was a little kid you know. Not entirely sure why I don't know I just liked him. I feel like stuff like this like this little toy I had a bunch of Pokemon toys there somewhere. I'm not going to show them because this isn't a Pokemon collection, this is a Polyworld collection, but this was one of them and I feel like this was, I guess, my favourite and there's probably a big reason why I he was my favourite Pokemon. kind of just like his aesthetic, I guess, I don't know. His simple, cute design. It's the same reason why I'm not, like, I'm a big fan of the whole Polyworld line, but Polyworld is by far my favourite. And So you might think Poliwrath would be my second favourite Pokemon of all time, since he's basically just Poliwhirl, but buffer and angrier looking, but you would be grossly mistaken. The, the changes between Poliwhirl and Poliwrath are like the exact reason why I like Poliwhirl. I don't, I, he's a simple cute design where Poliwrath is just bigger and angrier. It's like the exact opposite of what I want in my Poliwhirl. My second favourite in the Poly line is Politoed. He's not my second favourite Pokemon of all time, but you know, he's probably up there. I like Politoed because even though it changes what he looks like drastically, it still maintains that sort of simplicity, the cuteness and the epicness that uh, Poliwhirl has. This is one of those infamous, uh, were they from Burger King slash Hungry Jacks, I think? I don't know, I bought this on eBay. It's a gold one. This one is sealed, now the box is kind of mangled up as you can sort of see, but inside, if we open it up carefully, the plastic, it's, it's in a plastic thing, the Pokeball and the thing, and I haven't opened this, so this is still sealed. I have one of these gold things that um, without the Pokeball and that, that's been opened, that I got separately somewhere, so I'll show you that later. Okay, this fucking Manga Tuesday already sucks. I should just get into the fucking cards, because it's going to probably take me forever, and I don't want this episode to be too long, so let's, uh, do the transition. Okay, so this is my Poliwhirl binder. It's just a blue binder with a Poliwhirl spiral sticker that I got and stuck in the middle, but it looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. If we open up here, this is the first page. We've just got sort of some older cards as well as some custom stuff. So this is an actual older card. I think it's the vending machine. There's two versions of this card. I know I have two, but I don't think I've got the two different versions. I'm not sure. I think one's like glossy and one's not, but i got to sort of look into that. Oh yeah, also we're still in the Black Nail arc of Manga Tuesday, so bada bing bada boom. Here we have a French card, Tatate. Uh, and then here we have some custom ones. So these are some full art customs. These are not real cards. This one in the middle here is actually hand painted. Well, the other two, I believe, are not. Another custom one and another custom one based off of the base set, Poliwhirl, but black and gold, epic looking. And this one over here is one of, I believe, probably is the very first Poliwhirl card ever made. Depending on what color back it has, I don't remember and I don't want to take it out of its 
sleeve. Yeah, all my Polyworld cards are in these, uh, I think they're baby blue Dragon Shield sleeves, so yes. You might have noticed I've changed locations because I did not like the lighting in the previous location. So we are now in a new location. Epic. Let us continue looking through Polyworld collection. Alright, so here we have base set, and I've also put base set 2 with it, even though they are a different set. They're exactly the same, other than the little 2 in the right hand corner there. So anyway, we have just a regular English one, we have a first edition English one, an English one, a Japanese one, a first edition Shadowless base set English one, and then another Japanese one there. And there we have a base set 2, and we got another base set 2 there, so 2 base set 2. And a first edition Quaputzi, that's a German polywell in the middle there. And over here we have, what the fuck we got there? Up here, that is a different language polywell that I'm not sure. It might be Italian or Spanish. Speak over glasses, please help. I think it might be Italian. And then we got a fucking another English, another two just English ones. Moving on, we have the Jim Heroes. So this is Misty's polywell. So we have just a regular English one, then we have a Japanese one, then we have another regular English one, then we have a three first edition English ones, and another little regular English one down there. Then we have Neo Discovery, this is probably one of my favourite ones, it has beautiful artwork. We have an English one, a Japanese one, a first edition English one, a regular English one, another first edition English one, another first edition English one, and Tatati, that's a French polywell. Alright, then here we have uh, Expedition. So we don't have many of them. We got a regular English one, then we got two reverse hollow English ones. We got a Japanese first edition one, because the Japanese cards are first editions now, I suppose. And then we got two regular English ones. Yes, reverse hollow. Nice. I like this Play-Doh artwork. Then we have a, a very popular set, Sky Ridge, and I need to get more Sky Ridge. I don't know, I don't have many of them. The Japanese one, first edition stamp down there. We got a regular English one, a regular Japanese first edition one. We got a Quaputzi German Polywell, and then we got a reverse hollow English one. Reverse hollow there, it's not showing up great on camera, but whatever, fuck it. <laughs> We got, uh, this is EX Fire Red Leaf Green. I don't know many of them either, I suppose, but I got a Japanese one, first edition. I got, I'll pull that one out. Actually, I got two of them. Those are hollows, and they look fucking beautiful. They have a great hollow pattern. Then we got, uh, just two regular English ones. Yeah, look how fucking beautiful the hollow pattern is on that, just with the different energy symbols and that. That looks fucking beautiful. I fucking love that. There you go. This is EX Unseen Forces. We got a regular English one, a Japanese one, first edition, another regular English one, English one, we'll go to that one in a minute, another English one, English one, a Japanese regular one, not first edition, mm, interesting, and then a Quaputzi German one. This one, kind of like a hollow one, it's got a little, some little, little sort of sparkles in it if you can see, as well as the little uh, set name in the bottom right of the art there, so it's interesting. Then we have Legends Awakened. English, reverse hollow English. English, English, reverse hollow English. English. Tatati, that's French. Reverse hollow English. And then just a Japanese one, first edition. Then we have, this is one of, this might be my favourite one, my favourite art. It's Unleashed. We have a reverse hollow English. A Japanese one, first edition, reverse holo English, then we'll go to those ones in a second. But then we've got English, a reverse holo Japanese, if you can see that, that is reverse holo. Uh, just an English one. Oh, that's first edition too. Over there we got a Tatati, a French, and a Quaputzi German reverse holo, and a regular Quaputzi. These ones are special, I don't actually know exactly what they are. If we pull them out, we'll, I'll show you. They've got that, oh, look at that nice little shimmer, that nice little sparkle, and obviously they've got that big fat stamp on there. I guess they were like a prize or something, given out for something. I don't really know the backstory. Looks like I got three of the same, but I do not. These two are the same. This one's actually different if we take a close look. The difference between these two is this little staff logo in the bottom left there. That staff stamp there is literally the only difference, and that makes this one a little more rarer and a little more expensive it seems. And these ones with the stamp on them and with this beautiful fucking artwork, these might be my fucking favourite Polywell card of all time. 
Then we have, what the fuck's this one called? Furious Fists. We got a, just one Japanese one over there, first edition. Then we got an English one, a reverse holo English one, a really nice looking reverse holo for this fucking set. Another English one, English one, reverse holo English, English. Tatati, a French one, a reverse holo Quapuzzi German, and then a reverse holo French Tatat. Then we got, oh, we got Evolutions, which is another reprint of base set. I, I didn't put this one with base set because um, I got a lot of them. And they actually are different, like the actual the actual descriptions that they have is different. The actual layout of the card with the description is a slightly different too. But anyway, in the original base set one, it says capable of living in and out in or out of water. When out of water, it sweats to keep its body slimy. And as you can see, Evolution's in a slightly different spot and it says something slightly, well, it says something completely different. It says, it too, its two legs are well developed, even though it can live on the ground, it prefers living in water. So I don't know why they changed it. I don't know if they changed the other sort of descriptor things that, for the other reprints they did. I don't know. Anyways, English, Japanese, first edition, English, English, reverse holo English, English, reverse holo English, Japanese, reverse holo English, reverse holo French, Tatat, Tatati normal, I need a reverse holo Japanese one, oh. Yeah, there's still a lot more cards that I need to collect, it's an ongoing collection, it's growing. Eventually I hope I'll have both pages full for each set and I'll have like one of every possible poly world. Anyways, we then have Sun and Moon base set. We've got a lot of these. I probably pulled some of these. That's probably why I got more because I've opened a lot. Well, not a lot, but I've opened a few Sun and Moon base set uh, booster packs. A lot of the other poly world cards I have, I like bought online, whether it's from eBay or Troll and Toad, just different places I had to search around to find them. But uh, I guess some of the more recent ones, I have pulled some myself. Anyways, we've got a reverse holo English. We've got a reverse holo Japanese. Not first edition, I don't think. Can't see it anywhere. Reverse holo English. Reverse holo Tatart French. Reverse holo English. Reverse holo Kwaputsi German. Uh, regular English. Regular Japanese. Regular English. Then we got a regular little Tatati French man. Another regular poly world. Regular Kwaputsi German. Regular English. And another regular English one. Very, very nice. These ones have a very nice reverse uh, hollow pattern it's beautiful moving on we're gonna get to whoop, moving on we're gonna get to the last uh, polyworld card as of now hopefully one of the future sword and sealed sets will have a polyworld anyway but this is from Sun and Moon unbroken bonds I got a lot of them English Japanese English French reverse hollow reverse hollow English reverse hollow German reverse hollow English Japanese reverse hollow English uh, the English, uh, German, <laughs> English, reverse holo English, Japanese, reverse holo French, epic style, epic style, epic, epic, epic style. Then moving on, we have just a random miscellaneous assortment of random miscellaneous items. This fucking thing that I think is a sticker. Then we got the, uh, three of hearts there. Then we got these two things. A lot of these, the rest of most of these are Japanese cards that I don't really... I can't really give you the background detail on because I'm an idiot. Anyways, just get a nice fucking look at them. Look at these ones. Look, there's Meryl. And um, down here we have, actually, these, these, these two are English ones. They're from the tops. Fucking shit. That's the regular one. And that's sort of the shiny, hollowy looking one. And I think that's a sticker. Moving on, here we have Room for Growth. This binder's far from full. Oh, and here we have some of the other poly gangs. So, two Misty's polywags and another... Uh, I guess that's a base set polywag, I believe. I don't know what that one's from, but it's a reverse holo. We've got one of those ones, a polywag. We've got that fucking epic looking Yarn Yoshi polywag. But these two custom ones that, that came with the uh, Polyworld one that I bought, as well as just another regular ass polywag there in the middle. Then we got a polyraft that I believe is base set, not evolutions. Uh, but then we have a holo polyraft that I believe is evolutions. Yep, 2016, so this is a, an Evolutions one, but that's pretty nice. Another Reverse Holo Polyraph there, one of those ones for Polyraph. We'll come back to him in a minute, one of those sticker Polyraph ones. Oh, look at these fucking cute poly toads. Oh, so we've got a fucking Reverse Holo there, and then a Holo version. That one I had as a kid, and that's, I really like that fuck artwork, but you see there's a little bit of like a red line, like I fucking accidentally drew on it or something, but that's a beautiful looking art. See, this is why Poly Toad is my second favourite of the Poly line, because look how fucking cute and epic he is. He retains... Polyworld's essence, whereas Polyraph becomes a fucking angrier, buffer looking Polyworld, which is just things that I don't want in my Polyworld. It, it takes Polyworld and makes him worse. 
just a worse version of Poliwheel in my eyes, whereas Politoed is completely different looking but retains Poliwheel's essence. And Poliwag is just Poliwag. Anyway, we got this one. This is a fucking, it's the only fucking like EXGX type one of the Poly line, I believe, as of now. So this is a Politoed EX uh, in Japanese. I think this is pretty expensive. I got it for a pretty good price though. It's probably gone up even more now. I think the English one might be more expensive. That's why I got a Japanese one, but it's still fucking epic. It was a nice find when I got it. Then we have more room for growth, plus a couple more. Another Politoed and another Poliwag. Then we have more room for growth. And then we have, oh, just some more miscellaneous shit. We just got a fucking sticker there. We got a fucking Tarzo ass thing there. We got a certificate of authenticity for the loose gold thing I get, which we'll get to in a second. Another sticker there. And we got some of these things that change. Let's see if I can do that. See, that one spins, and then this one evolves. So, nice. And then over here, we got some fucking big shit that's too big. To, this big ass fucking card that's fucking epic looking. Nice. And then this fucking big ass one, is this a postcard? No, I think I do have a postcard somewhere though. I don't know where it is because it's not in here and I don't think it's in my treasure chest that we're about to get in in a second. Oh, and yeah, so Unbroken Bonds, by the way, this is the one that this fucking custom one in the front page was based off. I'm pretty certain they literally just took a, a fucking regular card of this and hand painted over it. And it's fucking beautiful. This is my favorite custom card I have. Yeah, it's just fucking beautiful. Before I had this um, blue binder with the sticker on it, I had a black binder that had a hole cut out so you could see the first card in, in the middle slot. And I had I got this card and put it immediately into that middle slot because it was a great centerpiece for the collection. But then I moved on to a, a better binder, this premium binder, blue and shit. So. But he's still front and center in my collection because I really like that card. Shout out to the artist that did it. I do not remember her name off the top of my head, but... Here's her Etsy store. Um, she doesn't have anything up right now, I don't believe. Last time I checked, so I don't know if she's still making shit or not, but who knows. And yes, by the way, this is the epic chest. This is where we got some super epic shit in here. So, first of all, we have this uh, gold poly whirl. This one I bought just came with this gold thing, as well as the certificate of authenticity that was in there. Uh, it doesn't come with a Pokeball or a box or anything, so it's just a nice one to have out to look at. He's a scuffed up version of that uh, Tatate French sort of clear card. It's supposed to be clear, but this one's all scuffed up, so it just fucks around. And then we got some shit that ain't fucking meant to be in there. Some sealed booster packs. <clears throat> but then here, oh, in there, oh, we have the Piste de Resistance. These are all my graded Poliworld cards. Ooh. Okay, here, 1996 fucking card ass. This is just a gem in eight I just got because it was pretty fucking cheap. Then we have the English Shadowless First Edition. This was the first one I think I ever got. It was just a, just a seven. It was pretty cheap. But then not long after I got that, I then went and got the fucking nine because it was only barely more expensive. So another first edition base set there. Then we got this Gem Mint 10 base set 2, although the top part's slightly different. It almost looks fake. I don't know. It was very cheap, but I don't know what the deal with that is. I mean, but the back looks fine, so. 2002 Gem Mint 10, fucking the Expedition Polywell, just a regular one, not the hollow one. We don't have a Sky Ridge. This is a reverse hollow one. But it's only a 9. I would really like to get that in 10, but alas. Bada boom! A fucking Gem Mint 10, but it's just a regular one. Man, I would love to get a Gem Mint 10 with that hollow, with that beautiful fucking hollow pattern that this card has. <laughs> and we have one that's not a Poliwell, a Gem Mint 10 first edition sleep card. I don't know, it's nice. What? <laughs> I think it's the only graded card I have that's not a Poliwell. Then we got some in here that were in this bag. These must be the Pisto Resistances. Oh yeah, these are the Pisto Resistances. So this is, I, as far as I can tell, the first ever Poliwhirl card ever made from 1995. It's Japanese. It's a blue back. Gem Mint 10, by the way. Oh, fuck yeah. These ones, these these sets of cards, these aren't part of the actual Pokemon TCG. They were before the Pokemon TCG, and I believe they were the first ever official Pokemon cards, if I am correct. But they also have two different types. There's blue backs and green backs, and from what I understand, the blue backs are the first edition run. So... This is a pretty epic piece. Then we have a fucking Gem Mint 10 
first edition English shadowless base set Poliwhirl, a very expensive card and a very fucking epic card. I got it for a pretty decent price, at least compared to what they sell for now. Just fucking epic. Then over here, what do we got? Just a Gem Mint 10 Sky Ridge, not a hollow, just a regular, but Sky Ridge is epic. It's a very popular set and it's a very nice looking Poliwhirl art. Then we have, oh my god, I fucking didn't even know I had this. I completely forgot. It's a fucking... It's that epic fucking hollow pattern, and it is a gem mint tan. What the fuck? I forgot I even had that. I didn't think I did not know I had that. That is fu- I'm so- oh, that's fucking epic. Holy fuck yeah, man. That's fucking sick. And that is all the graded cards I have. If you just want to take a look at them all. So that is all the graded cards that I have. All polywells except for one. There's a bunch more I'd like to get, like a Misty's Poliwhirl and a- and uh, the Neo Discovery. I'd like to get them in- Fucking gem mint tens, those are nice. As well as some like uh, like the reverse foil tens for some of the Sky Ridge and other ones. Oh, oh, and the fucking the main one I fucking want, and I really regret not buying it. Like a little over a year now, it was still super expensive then, but <laughs> compared to what it is now, well, um, what I want is a a base set Japanese no rarity symbol. I think I've seen one on fucking eBay, a gem mint ten no rarity symbol Japanese one. Um, and I really fucking want it, but it was really expensive. I think like, but I think, uh, I don't know if it was only like 300 bucks or something, even though I'm not saying only, but now it's, I swear it's like the exact same listing. I think still isn't sold, but I think it's up. It's been put up to like $2,000 or something ridiculous. It was a crazy price like a year or a year and a half ago, but I, I was considering buying it, but it does like, ah, it's kind of expensive. I'll get it later. And now it's just... <laughs> Way more expensive and harder to get, and I really fucking want it. That's the what, number one one I want, but I'm not paying $2,000 for it, so I gotta wait for the Pokemon hype to die back down a bit again, you know? Anyways, that pretty much sums things up. So that's all my Poliwhirls as part of my Poliwhirl collection, except for there could be a couple of cards or postcards lying around here or there that I've misplaced, but eh, whatever. For a rating, Poliwhirl gets a butter bing, butter boom out of 10. How you doing? Uh, thanks for watching, <clears throat> let me try that again, thanks for watching, and as always, poly gang, poly gang, poly 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 gang. It's just another Tuesday. talking about all the different possible integers as to why Batman can beat Superman. You're a nerd, for one, but for two,